Okay, so we got some pretty big things happening in San Francisco. You know, one of the best tech cities in the world. Well, at least it used to be one of the best tech cities. Until you have a bunch of homelessness, crime, and rampant drug use, San Francisco right now is a shell of its former self. Can they recover? I'm not really sure, but let me tell you guys something. Many business owners are actually sick and tired of San Francisco shenanigans every single day. I think many business owners are also starting to see that the reason they're losing so much money isn't because of you know the tourism or the tech. It's because of bad management and terrible policies. Check this out, guys. For the first time ever, business owners are done. They're suing the entire city for neglect and bad policies. This business owner is suing San Francisco after closing two of his Fisherman's Wharf restaurants, and they're gone. And ever since the pandemic, we're seeing many of these small businesses trying to stay afloat. You know, before the pandemic, San Francisco had its ups and downs. It still had like the tenderloin scene with the rampant drug use and the massive crime, but people were willing to put up with it, right? But then after the pandemic, many companies started noticing how bad San Francisco is getting, and many companies are leaving. And safety has been a major factor. One business owner says the city has not been making the situation any better. They're now suing to hold the city accountable. And if you look at this, the business owner is suing the city of San Francisco, citing an out of control, unhoused population, criminal activity in and around the Fisherman's Wharf and unsafe structural conditions. Several businesses have been confirmed that they've closed after the pandemic. And in fact, many of these smaller suburban cities in America tend to do extremely well after the pandemic. But for these really left-leaning cities like New York City, Chicago, Seattle, San Francisco, LA, a lot of these restaurants, small mom and pop stores are actually doing worse after the pandemic because of terrible city policies. And if you look at the value of San Francisco's biggest mall, the Westfield Mall is down by 75% of its market cap. It lost a billion dollars of value. Why? It's because it has constant amounts of shoplifting, which the city doesn't care. In San Francisco, you could shoplift less than $1,000. It would just be a slap on the wrist. Cops don't care. City council doesn't care. Oh, a whole string of robberies? They don't care at all. In fact, having the Westview Mall closed down, their biggest mall gone of business, should be the biggest wake-up call for San Francisco. And San Francisco should have done some extremely drastic measures to clean up the streets. And guess what? They didn't. San Francisco would much rather do some weird band-aid strategy than to actually fix the underlying issue. And look at this. San Francisco exodus is gathering steam. T-Mobile, Shutters, the flagship store, Nordstrom, and Saks Off Fifth are closing. We're seeing a lot of these businesses, especially the big anchor stores, are all leaving. Businesses have closed stores over safety concerns, massive spikes in crime. And if you look at you know, San Francisco, people are like, you could openly smoke fentanyl in public. You, know, you could be on Market Street, the busiest street in town. You could just see people smoking fentanyl, dealing drugs, or passed out on the floor, and it's okay. And it could be right next to a skate park where kids are hanging out. And the mayor doesn't care. The police doesn't really seem to care. And this is the truth. If you look at some testimonies from people who live in San Francisco, they're absolutely shocked, especially people that live outside the U.S. They look at San Francisco downtown. Looks like they just gave up. Drug addicts opening doing fentanyl. Passed out everywhere. People screaming. Homeless is sprouted out. Trash everywhere. Empty storefronts. This guy's been here for six months. I'm pretty sure he's like a tech employee or something, and he's still not used to this. It's absolutely appalling. Government leaders should be responsible, and if no government leader can solve this, then the system itself is broken. The current situation in San Francisco downtown is completely unacceptable. And if you go to any other country, if you even go to like Toronto, if you go to like, you know, Hong Kong and China, Shenzhen, Tokyo, Melbourne, Dubai, you'll never see people just passed out in the middle of downtown and people doing drugs, people dealing drugs, like it's just a normal day. This is San Francisco. This is why real estate is plummeting. This is why businesses are shutting down. This is why business owners are suing the city. And look at this, you know, this store in San Francisco now has a barrier where you walk in, shoppers need to be accompanied by staff as a shop. There is so much shoplifting. And of course, California refuses to lock up its criminals and its shoplifters. So now people are just going to be locking up their merchandise behind shelves. And this gets back to the original lawsuit by this business owner who closed two Fishman's Wharf restaurants because no tourist is willing to go to Fishman's Wharf in San Francisco when crime rate is this high. 
This man has probably spent millions of dollars creating these restaurants and now they're completely closed. He wants to sue for millions of dollars and I understand why. Many business owners just don't have enough courage to sue the city. But I'm sure this guy has been put up with so much shoplifting, a lot of crime, less foot traffic, and of course, probably people bring into the restaurant and the city literally not doing anything. He's sick and tired of it. And now he's filing a big lawsuit on the city of San Francisco. Let's see what happens next because a lot of stores are closing and many of them aren't coming back.